All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Green Lantern Series Four action figure. And the figure I have here, it's uh, Red Lantern Guy Garner. Looks amazing in packaging, but uh, this one I will open since it is on a car back instead of those uh, clamshell uh, packaging. Usually I keep those in packaging, uh, the clamshell ones, because uh, they look so nice in packaging. Um, here's a little info, you're welcome to pause and read that. Well, actually, I'm just gonna slowly pass through all of them, so... And, uh, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't see, uh, Steel, but, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't look that good, actually, from this picture. Uh, I like the, um, DC Universe Classic, uh, Build-A-Figure one way better than this one. So, and I'm in the in the process of, uh, finishing up that figure. And we have, uh, saw this one, the Hal Jordan uh, Power Glow. Uh, it's just basically the same figure, but now it's translucent. So, don't really care for it. And these are the two I picked up. And, uh, but today, the review, it's on Red Lantern Guy Garner. So, here are the ones that are coming soon. And most likely, I will pick up all the green ones, except for that blue one. Which I don't even know. I yeah, don't really care for it. Uh, but the uh, rest of them I most likely will pick up. And uh, let's get to the figure. Alright, and here's what uh, Guy Garner looks like outside of packaging. Red Lantern Guy. And uh, he comes with a base. A red translucent base. And a construct, which currently is broken. Um, it's a chainsaw. A red translucent chainsaw construct and uh, here's what the figure looks like from the front and here it is from the side from the back and the other side Alright, and here's a closer look at the head sculpt and a uh, very menacing looking uh, Guy Garner and uh, his mouth is uh, full of blood and his eyes are, his pupils are definitely red he's got orange hair and uh, here's his uh, costume I love that metallic red on these uh, Red Lantern figures. Everything's so shiny, even the boots. And uh, as far as articulation, uh, head is on a ball joint, but uh, it's got very limited movement uh, <coughs> since these are DC Direct figures. And um, shoulders are on ball joint. And uh, bicep, there's a swivel, and a hinge elbow. And uh, swivel wrist. As far as the waist, there's a swivel joint, and uh, swivel hips, hinge knees, and nothing around the ankles. Here he is, Guy Garner. And uh, let's take a look at the construct. Here's a closer look at the chainsaw construct. And uh, since uh, this thing broke, otherwise, it would have been over the top there it's a secondary handle uh, here's the grip he grips it back there and then the handle over the top and it is uh, quite translucent and here you see uh, on his uh, left hand he's wearing a red lantern ring well there's uh, uh, no designs on it it's just a uh, plain red dot and uh, on his uh, right hand, he's wearing a green ring. Again, no design, just a dot. And here's one more look at him. And uh, the construct is made out of uh, hard plastic, so it does uh, break easily if you aren't careful with it, especially the handle. That's why mine broke. But it's an easy fix, I just have to glue it back on. No big deal. And now let's do a size comparison. 
All right, and here we have him uh, uh, standing next to, on the left here, we have uh, Carmine from uh, Ghost War 3. And then on the right here, we have a Predator, a Boar Predator. They're both by NECA. And now let's see how tall Guy Garner really is. He is about six and three fourths of an inch. His height. And, uh, yep. And, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.